Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm going to go over this uh, video with you here. Um, while I took a bunch of different clips of these guys moving these buildings, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how or what my experience was with it and how this is done. I got a pretty complex yard here, and as you'll see um, in this first shot, uh, this is the first company that I had to come out and get this thing out of the way um, for the other company to come and do their thing. They're using a a uh, custom-made flatbed that this guy right here, this gentleman right here made. His name is Rob. He's awesome. Um, he custom makes these flatbeds uh, to any size, and he got this. He got it. He had to kind of move my barn at an angle, as you see here, and kind of pull it to the right toward that fence, um, and then get it in position where he could hook it and then pull it back because it was in a pretty tricky spot. You can see it here, kind of a close-up of it going underneath. You can see here it was underneath this big bougainvillea bush, um, which just kind of took over the building. So we needed to get some some heavy equipment to get it moved. Uh, and then here is the bigger building, um, and here's the, the the wheels that are that go underneath the back of it. Here you're about to see this mule come along and grab the front of it uh, underneath the porch, and it's got this big T-bar that comes up. And you'll see here in a minute that they swing up and it grabs up underneath the the roof and then it, it lifts it in a way where it's uh, supported and the tires that you just saw are on the back of it already uh, on the skids and what this does is it allows it to become almost like a little car you can see here it kind of going up the helpers moving the blocks out of the way they had it set here temporarily while I got that other building moved out of the way so this is broken up into a couple days here two days here it is being pulled. You can see here this operator was very good. Um, almost no ruts in my yard, which was nice. And uh, yeah, he's coming back. And I'll give you a little insight. Right about where he's driving right now is my leech field, which, um, to my surprise, no damage whatsoever. I told him that there was a leech field there, and he's done this a few times. Um, no, no damage at all, and that's a big building. This is a 16 foot wide by 40 foot long building with a front porch. You can see all this rye grass that he's on right here. That's all leach field, and uh, no damage whatsoever. So if you're wondering if you can drive one of these on a leach field, yes you can. Um, here they've reversed the wheels, and now they've put the wheels on the front porch. He's going to bring the mule along the back, and what he's going to do is pull it around. It's, if you can see up there on the top right of the screen, it's underneath a pretty big oak tree. Um, so the maneuverability here is, is limited. So this driver had to be pretty creative in uh, getting the building where it has to go. And here he is kind of swinging it around underneath the oak tree. And I went on ahead and trimmed up that tree pretty good before they got there. So if you're going to move one of these, make sure your tree is about 15, 16 foot up trimmed. Uh, that's about how high this thing gets. So here he is kind of bringing it around and I'm standing on my patio. You can see it just kind of pulls along, and that little sag you see in the porch, that's pretty normal. Um, these things do bend a little bit uh, here and there. That's fine. It levels right back out as soon as they let it down. And he's bringing it in, and what we're basically doing is shooing it into this corner. It's a very tight spot. The building is 16 foot 3 wide uh, from joist to joist or wall to wall on the outside. And the space that it's going into is 17 foot 6, so he doesn't have a lot of room to get a 40 foot long straight building in between there and this driver did an excellent job of getting it perfectly in line with that fence line um, which was which was pretty pretty impressive and here he is he's just kind of bringing it in there's a little palm tree there that's in the way that they've had to work around and this video is edited pretty pretty well a lot I mean he went back and forth with that mule making micro adjustments here I am following him following him in through the yard after he had made a couple of adjustments and you would go to the back of it, kind of move it a little bit, go to the front of it, move it a little bit and kind of wiggle it in there. And here he is kind of getting it in its final position, uh, lifting it up and then pushing it back. Now here he is moving the cook building. Um, he had to install that little bar that you see there, that piece of wood up underneath the skids and mount it there so he could actually pull against it because the cook buildings are a little bit different than the premieres. Here he is bringing it here into its final location where he'll block and level it. This guy was really good. He knew what he was doing. 
very professional. And here he is kind of bringing it, look at that, perfect. Then here he is with the plywood, just to, I have real soft sand, so we use the plywood to just give it one more final nudge back into location where it's got to be. And then at that point, I'll take it over and paint it up and get it clean. There it is right there, perfect. So there it is, there's the whole shot of the two buildings set on the property correctly. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you guys are on the fence about ordering a building or you, you don't really know what to do, uh, the big building that you saw on the on the right, uh, that's a premiere. And here I'm putting up some uh, build photos of it. That's a premiere portable building. It's a 16 by 40. I highly recommend them. It's a very, very good building, very strong, um, very good customer service. Uh, and then the building on the left was a cook building, which also was a a very good, very good decision I made five years ago when I bought that. Um, it's, it's held up very well. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, pipe them down below and I will uh, get you on the next video. Thanks.